Hey guys, this video is going to go over the hotkey commands for T-Smart dual monitor KVMs. We have an infographic on the hotkeys on buytsmart.com, and everything is linked in the description below. For these KVMs, you can use either the scroll lock button or the right control key as the hotkey trigger. Sometimes the factory forgets to default to the scroll lock key, so if that's not working for you, try the right control key instead. Many keyboards don't actually have a dedicated scroll lock button like the one we have here, but a lot of them will have it as a special function. Here's a location of the scroll lock function on a few popular keyboards that we come across. If this applies to you, you simply need to hold down the FN key and press the correct key to activate scroll lock. If you don't have the scroll lock function at all, like for Mac keyboards, then you can press and hold the yellow switch button in the front of the KVM for about 15 seconds until the KVM beeps. This will toggle between scroll lock and right control as the hotkey trigger. All right, let's get into switching inputs. So at the moment, we're actually on PC2. If you want to go back and forth between PC1 and 2 while in dual screen extended desktop mode, you just do scroll, scroll, 1 or 2. We select 1, it's going to go to PC1. We select 2, it's going to go to PC2. Now, if you want to switch over to mode 2, which is where you have one computer on each monitor simultaneously, you'll press scroll, scroll, three or four. So we're going to press three here, and we're going to have PC1 on the left and PC2 on the right. Now, if we wanted PC2 on the left instead of this way, all we're going to do is scroll, scroll, four. Give the KVM a second to resolve the resolutions. And here, now we can actually control one computer at a time and then press Alt, Alt, and we can switch over and use the other computer and you can go back and forth between these computers when you're in mode two, just with Alt-Alt. One thing to know though, is that if the KVM is gonna receive audio from whichever input is selected. So whichever computer has the mouse and keyboard control, you're also gonna receive audio from that computer as well when you're in mode two. As we mentioned earlier, the hotkey trigger can be assigned to either scroll lock or right control. And we can do this with a hotkey, scroll, scroll, F1. Now we use the right control key to switch around with the KVM. Personally, I prefer having the scroll lock key as my trigger. So to switch back over to scroll lock, we're just gonna repeat the pattern and do control control F1. You can turn pass-through mode off or on with scroll scroll F2. So let's go ahead and turn it off, but there's no light in the front of the KVM to indicate if it's on or off. So you have to use another hotkey trigger, which is scroll scroll F3. So we're gonna do that pattern and you heard one beep. One means that it's off and two means it's on. So let's go ahead and turn it back on with scroll, scroll, F2. And now we can confirm it with scroll, scroll, F3. There, you heard two beeps, so we know that pass-through mode is turned back on. If by chance you accidentally turn pass-through mode off and your keyboard stops working because of that, you'll need to grab a basic keyboard and repeat the scroll, scroll, F2 pattern to turn it back on. So we generally just suggest leave pass-through mode on all the time. and It'll make your life better. To disable the KVM's beep, press scroll, scroll, F11. This engages silent mode, and now as we switch around, you're not gonna hear any more of the KVM's really annoying beep. But if you do like the beep and you prefer that response, all you have to do is repeat the pattern and press scroll, scroll, F11, and it'll turn it back on. All right, that's it for today's video. Check out our dual monitor playlist if you wanna learn more. Thanks and have a good day.